Okay, in this video I will show you how to calibrate the Condor key machine or the mini Condor key machine. Both of these machines are exactly the same way a, a process to calibrate a, the key machine and I will show you how to do it now step by step. Before everything I want to show you what you need to, to have a, in order to a, do the calibration successfully. So first of all you, you need to have the M1 clamp, the M1 clamp right here, okay? One moment. The M1 clamp. You're gonna have the M2 clamp. You're gonna have to have three uh, Honda keys, Honda high security keys. It can be H001, okay, H003, H005, or just uh, just the blade. As long as the blade look like this, like a Honda one, that's fine. Of course, you're gonna have the the tracer, which is the probe and the cutter which sometimes you're gonna have it here. Most of the time you're gonna have it here. I just removed them uh, uh, for this uh, uh, tutorial. And of course the stopper. You're gonna have this Allen key to open and close the Allen uh, screws that we have. And we have the brush. Okay, so let's see how it's being done. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna turn the machine to the on position. Okay, now the first thing that we need to do, we need to put the tracer, which called also the probe, in place all the way up. We're gonna put it all the way up, all the way up, and we're gonna close and tighten the screw with the LN key, okay? Now, next, we're gonna take the cutter and we're gonna put it also all the way up. Of course, we're gonna tighten the screw right here. So make sure you put this in front of the screw. So I'm just gonna put it here all the way up. All the way up and tighten the screw while I'm holding it all the way up. Make sure it's all the way up, okay? Make sure it's all the way up. Okay, so basically right now, we can start the procedure. Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes Easily, and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, here and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, here and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step. It's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video. It's that easy. To find out more, go to www.laxnickvideosonline.com. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do, we want to make sure that you brush the machine. I already cleaned the machine, but sometimes you're going to have some uh, uh, key material here. So you want to make sure that you clean it up because sometimes if it's not clean, the machine is not going to continue in the process. Okay, next, what you want to do, uh, make sure that the M clamp is on. Also, of course, prepare three Honda high security keys for the calibration. Okay, now we're gonna choose, right here we're gonna choose self-test. Press on self-test. And right now we're gonna choose height level adjustment. Next, it tells you uh, to install the clamp M1, which we did. Okay, there is no need to put key on the clamp. There is no key. Uh, basically, it just let us know that when, at the, uh, uh, at the beginning, the position of the cutter, okay, the position of the cutter need to be lower than the probe, than the tracer, and it is lower. You can see that they are not at the same level. So basically, that's what we want because we put both of them up. And what we need to do, um, what we need to do, we're going to press continue. Right here, press continue. 
Okay, now the machine uh, stop and what we need to do is just to take the probe, the tracer, and open the screw and release the tracer, the probe, all the way down, down. So it will touch the clamp. And now it will make sure that both of the cutter and the, train, the tracer are at the same level. And now you're gonna tight the Allen screw. Okay, this is the way for the machine to make sure that both of them, the, the tracer and the cutter, are on the same level. Okay, now what we do, we press continue. Okay, now we're gonna have to confirm that we use the 2.5 millimeter, uh, uh, cutter millimeter, and we're gonna press continue, confirm. And right now we finished with the high level adjustment. And what we're gonna do now, oops, I press it by mistake. I'm gonna press return. So we just finished with the height level adjustment. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do cutting calibration. Just press on cutting calibration. Okay, and right now it tell us that basically what we need to do, we need to put a Honda key on M1 clamp. Make sure that you have the M1 clamp. And we're gonna have the Honda high security key, and we're gonna put it on the M1 clamp. So what we wanna do, we wanna open the clamp, okay? And if it doesn't go in, that's because we need to open the screw with the pressure screw, which is this one, with the LN key. Just gonna open it. Make sure it's open. Until we can slide the Honda key inside. And what you wanna do, you wanna put the stopper right here. Okay, make sure that you stop this. The stopper is right here. And then you put the Honda high security key, uncutted key, and then you close the clamp. You close the clamp, and after you close the clamp, you also tighten the Allen screw. Okay, make sure that the key will not gonna move. Okay, now that we install the key the right way, we're gonna press continue. Let the machine work. Okay, once the machine is done, you take the brush and you clean all of these metal pieces. You clean them. You clean the entire thing. Don't leave any metal on the clamp. Okay, once you did that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna press continue. Okay, as you can see, we have the V mark on the screen. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press confirm. Okay, so basically we did the high level adjustment. We did, oops, I press it again by mistake. I'm gonna press return. We did the high level adjustment. We did the cutting calibration. And now we're gonna do the clamp calibration. So let's press on the clamp calibration. And we're gonna start with clamp M 
one, which is already on the condor key machine right now. And right now, what we need to do, it tells us uh, uh, it's a single-sided clamp, that's fine. Um, basically, it just let us know that the high-level adjustment already been done, which is what we did in step number one. And what we need to do, we need to put another Honda key right here, another one. Now, sometimes you can use the same key, just flip it upside down because the key already been cut, okay? But uh, I recommend to use a new key just because this is calibration and you want to make sure that the calibration is 100% accurate. Uh, you don't want to mess with it just because this is the way that the uh, machine will keep cutting the key from now and on. So just take this, uh, put it on the side. Of course, make sure you clean. And we're going to take another Honda key and we're going to put it inside the same way we did before. The stopper will stop it right here. Put the Honda key all the way until the stopper stop it and close the clamp. After you close the clamp, you take, you tighten the screw, the Allen screw. Make sure it's a sit in place. Okay, there you go. Now it's in place. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna press continue. <laughs> Okay, the machine is done. We have the V symbol at the screen and we're gonna press confirm. Okay, what we what we're doing now, we just finish with clamp number M1. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna open and remove the key. Open the screw. Okay, remove the key. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch between M1 to clamp M2, okay? We're gonna put inside clamp M2. So we're gonna switch it out, and take clamp M M1 out, and we're gonna take and put clamp M2 inside. And just to confirm, class clamp M2 have a uh, four sides up. We have the A side, the B side, the C side, and the D side, okay? So make sure the A side is facing up. And by the way, if it's hard for you to turn that because it's too tight, so you need to release the tightness and then you're gonna be able to turn it. So if it's too tight, you're not gonna be able to do it. So make sure the A side is up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, of course, you're gonna clean it up. And I'm gonna put the, one moment. I'm gonna put the, the clamp all the way and we're gonna lock it in place, okay? Now that we lock it in place, we're gonna press on M2. And it just let us know that M2 clamp, and we wanna make sure that the high level adjustment already been done, which is already we did it. We don't need to put any key on, uh, on the clamp. And what it let us know, it's just to confirm that the A side is up, which is up. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna press continue. Okay, once it's done, what we need to do, we need to move it from a, from a, the A side at the top and we're gonna switch it that the B side now is at the top and we're gonna press continue. Okay, once it's done, we're gonna twist it to the C side. The C side now needs to be up and we're gonna press continue again. Okay. 
okay, when, once the machine is done, we're gonna twist it again. This time, the D side need to be on top, upside, and we're gonna press continue. Okay, we have the V mark on the machine, which is good, and we're gonna press confirm. Okay, and right now we did already both of these clamps, and we're gonna press return. Okay, and as you can see, we just finished the left side. Now we're gonna go to the right side and we're gonna look at altitude detection. We're gonna press on altitude detection. Next, we're gonna press on clamp M1. And what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to remove M2 clamp, remove it, and we're gonna put clamp M1 again, and of course, remove any metal pieces, install M1 clamp, and do not put any blank key inside, do not. Okay, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna press continue. Okay, we got the V mark, we're gonna press confirm. And right now, we're gonna press on the M2 clamp. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna remove M2 clamp, M1 clamp, remove M1, put M2 clamp, Okay, put M2 clamp. Make sure that the A side is up. The A side is up. Okay, make sure that the A side is up. Lock it in place. Now this time, have a look at the, at the illustration here. It says to put a key, a blank key, all the way to the top. So we're gonna take the Honda key. Okay, we're gonna open the clamp. And we're gonna put the stopper this time at the end. Okay, right here at the end. Okay, and we make sure that we put the Honda all the way until the stopper stop it. And one second, we're just gonna put it, make sure it's correct. There you go, and close it. Okay? And right now, we're gonna press continue. <laughs> Okay, we got the V mark at the top, and what we're gonna do now, we're gonna press confirm, and we're gonna press return. And right now, basically the calibration is complete. We're gonna go to the main menu, and that's it. Right now, the calibration is complete. The machine is completely accurate, and you can start cut, cutting keys and make sure with confidence that um, right now, all of the keys will be cut accurate and correctly. The machine is 100% uh, calibrated. Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, gear and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then, choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, gear and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step, it's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video. It's that easy. To find out more, go to www.laxmicvideosonline.com.